Jordan Montgomery has multiple contract offers. Where is he going to go? Is he going to be a Ranger? You know the answer to that. Let's talk about where he's going to end up next year on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Bates. This is the Texas Rangers Clubhouse where we talk about baseball. Texas Rangers heavy. And yes, Jordan Montgomery has been a fan favorite. He's a fan favorite of mine. He's a fan favorite of yours if you're a Rangers fan. We just signed Michael Lorenzen last week. Halla freaking Luya. I put out a video you can check. I'll try to remember to link it. I put it out there. I'm so in love with the Michael Lorenzen signing. And I think a lot of you are pretty excited about it too. The baseball fans know that Michael Lorenzen's a stud. Not to say that Jordan Montgomery's not a stud. Would you rather have Jordan Montgomery or Michael Lorenzen? I put it in my video last couple days ago, last week, couple days ago. Okay, Montgomery might be a tier above Lorenzen, but it's pretty close. Lorenzen threw a no-hitter last year. Lorenzen made the all-star team last year. Montgomery's never done either one of those things. I'm not saying I don't want Monty. I'm not saying I didn't love Monty. I'm not saying I won't always be a Monty fan. I will. We don't win the World Series last year without Monty here in Texas. But this is the better move. Lorenzen's the better move. That said, I will always always, always love Monty, and I will always be a Monty fan, so I want to know where he's going to go, and I don't want it to be, you know, Houston or Seattle, so where's he going to go? Well, there's a report today, about an hour and a half ago as I filmed this, on MLB.com, Montgomery has long-term offers from multiple teams. Montgomery's long-term offers, okay, well, with just days remaining until opening day, Monty's market has finally hit, and it's getting competitive, said Jim Bowden on MLB Network.com, MLB Network. On Sirius XM. I don't know why I said .com there. I'm a big fan of Jim Bowden. I've, been, I've liked him. He's a fun personality. I love listening to him on the radio. I listen to a lot of Sirius XM MLB Network a lot. I drive a lot for work. And I love when the GMs talk. And Jim, Jim Bowden's one of those GMs that I just really, really like. So I believe what he says. And I will until, you know, I, I'll believe a reporter until they, uh, you know, out and out lie. And he hasn't yet. Not that I've seen. A source told Bowden that Montgomery has long-term contract offers from two teams. Bowden added the signing is probably going to happen this week. The identity of the Cubs wasn't um, known, uh, but Bowden wrote that the Yankees and the Red Sox are still involved to some degree. He also mentioned the Orioles and the D-backs as team to watch, who he didn't mention the Rangers. Look it. I love our staff, but I'm going to say it. We don't need Monty. We're not getting Monty. I believe I know exactly why Monty and Snell and J.D. Martinez and all those guys didn't get signed until late and didn't get the contracts they wanted. And it's not what you guys think. It's not Scott Boris. Most of you have been saying it's Scott Boris, the agent. I think it's the CBA. I think it's the tax structure, the salary tax structure. And I'll probably do a video on that, although I don't think anybody's going to be interested in it. It's kind of boring stuff. But that's what I think it is. I think that very few teams are even in the ballpark on the ability to get it. I look at the who's going to go over the salary cap structure, and I see the Red Sox and the Angels as the only likely teams. Now, some people will pay the tax, um, and again, the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Orioles, and the D-backs are who Jim Bowden seems to think. Montgomery was a stud for us last year. I'm not going to keep reading the article. You can go to MLB.com and check out the article. I love Monty. I will always love Monty. I will always be a fan of Monty. I will always appreciate that trade. That was a great trade. We traded away Reagan's for Chapman. We traded away two stud prospects for Monte. We traded away Ronald Acuna's little brother for Scherzer. We had brilliant trades last year, and Monte was worth every bit of those two prospects, whether they become superstars or not. I hope he signs somewhere. You know, of these teams, I, I've been saying all offseason I thought he'd go to Boston I still think he'll end up at Boston it makes a lot of sense why do I think that well like a lot of people we know that his wife has worked there she's a teacher or a teacher she's a doctor there apparently her contract runs out and they could go somewhere else I, who cares about those details right it makes sense to me that he'll end up in Boston I also think there's a chance he ends up in Anaheim with the well the LA Angels I still think there's a chance for that the Yankees I do not believe he's going in there the Orioles I don't think he'll go there, but wow, that would be scary. And then the D-backs, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. The D-backs needed, the Padres are better. The, the Giants are better. I think the Dodgers got better too. So that would make a lot of sense to me there. But financially, I look at the Angels and the Red Sox as the only team that don't pay a large negative tax if they sign Monty. So I still think he's going to go to Boston. I think the Angels are the second choice. Jim Bowden thinks there's multiple contract offers, long-term contract offers for Monty. What do you think? Are you still... 
that Ranger fan who's still sad that he's not coming to Texas, get over it. I loved him. You loved him. You're going to love Lorenzen. You are. I love him. I, I'm a fan. And you will be too. Um, but I still love Monty and I want to see where he goes. I hope he goes to Arizona because I don't want him to hurt us in there in the NL. Yeah. What say you? Where do you want him to go? Where do you think he'll go? And are you still mad that he's not going to be a Ranger? Because that's just dumb. Thanks for watching. Have the best day ever. Go Rangers. By the way, this video brought to you by me. I'll put a link in the description. I've got, so I'm going to the game with on in my seats, but I've got three all-you-can-eat left field, row 10, I think, three together, tickets for sale on SeatGeek. I, I'm only trying to not, not lose money on these. It's, uh, I think there's like, if, if I sold all three of them, I think I make like $12 or something. I don't even know. It's nothing burger. So they're almost just barely over, um, uh, Face value, go get them. Three together, right down left field line, right against the foul pole, row 10. All you can eat, opening day. Come on. I'll put the link in the description if I remember. I hope I do. Brought to you by me. So go to the game and, you know, if you get there early, maybe we'll uh, high five each other or something. I'm going to shut up now. Have the best day ever. Go Rangers. See you opening day Thursday. Let me know. Also in the comments, are you going to the game? Are you still hoping to get tickets or are you just watching it on TV? It is on TV. You can watch it from your couch. So that's pretty cool. I'm assuming they won't be blacking it out. I'm going to stop talking now before I say something wrong. Thanks for watching. Have the best day ever. Go Rangers. I have three questions for you. Number one, where do you think Monty's going to sign? Number two, are you going to opening day? Number three, have you subscribed to my channel yet? You should go do that. It would make me happy. And if you're going to the game, I'll see you Thursday.